welcome back everyone to our computer fundamentals of programming lesson and I'm so sorry because uh, I didn't show up like two weeks before because I'm sure the design stage was very easy for you and um, everyone is doing well today I'm going to teach you how to start with coding and when I say start with coding is the basic principles of coding which is called the print statement of course uh, the, the, the lesson today is going to talk about the print statement I will give you some examples there will be some common errors and I will give you all the hints about printing and finally I will find uh, we will try to find together the syntax errors uh, the print statements as you know that every program in the world and every program in Python that you will be uh, taking this year and the next year and the year after is going to consist of three main elements which is the input that will ask the user to enter something to the system and then the process which will do the calculation and after processing we will give you the output which will be displayed on the screen using the print statement so I will be covering today this part of the program in the next part I'm going to do some inputs then we will do the process as well in order to create a complete program now in order to display the output, we need to use something called print function. Now, the function is a piece of pre-written code that is already designed and performed by Python, and it will do a specific job. The print function, from its name, it will display the output on the screen. Now, the arguments are the data given to the function. So, for example, if I want to print hello world, I will type print and then open a parenthesis then I will type inside hello world as we will see right now so we have three main things the function which is a pre-written like print it is called the print function and we have the arguments inside the print function so for example if we type print hello world it will display hello world the compiler I'm going to use is called replit and you will be using this all the time now replet you will just type um, ripple.it and then you will start using the python code okay so if I just type replet I will just show you it will ask you for an option to pick up some type of code but okay you will start coding and after that you will pick the Python compiler okay you have a lot of compilers but our programming language is Python now in replet you can create your own account you can also uh, use it for different uh, file saving or sharing with your teacher you can uh, create or sign up easily using your Gmail or school account and then after that you will be able to save your work on your uh, Python screen okay it's loading now so for example if I type print and I open a double quotation hello world and I run the program using by clicking on this run screen the output will be appearing here whoops what is this hello okay I'll just remove the W and run again and you will see the output here so it's simple like that it's very simple very clear whatever you want to print you will just put it in between double quotation and it will look as it is so for example if you want to print uh, and make some kind of design for your program okay and just run so it will print hello world and then it will create this type of stars on the screen not only that we can use print single quotation as well sorry we need to open parentheses we will use uh, welcome to my first program if I run you will see that it is giving me the same output so I can use a double quotation or single quotation it's all doing the same job I'll go back to our PowerPoint to the next slide and as you see we have two type of strings we have the normal string and string literals 
The string is a sequence of characters, so it's a word. It's a street number, it's uh, your name, your teacher's name, your school name, uh, it's uh, your gender, anything that is written in text, it's called string. But string literals is a string that appears in its actual code of program. So for example, it must be enclosed with a single or double quotes. String literal can be enclosed in triple quotes or triple single quotes. You can use triple single quotes or double quotes. And why do we use this? I will just show you in the next example. Now, let's say for example, that we have to print these uh, statements. Kate, print Kate Austin, print the address of Kate Austin, and also print uh, the address again of Kate Austin, okay? So it will print the same, exact the same code as it's in the print statement. The same thing for the double quotation as I explained. This is called string, normal string. Now, if you want the string literal to contain either a single quote or apostrophe as a part, we need to change the double or single quotes. How is that? If you notice, for example, I want to print don't fear with this single quote here. So in order to be displayed as it is, I need to surround it with double quotes and vice versa. Okay, this is another example. I am here, so it need to be, it must be double quote, otherwise it will give you an error or a mistake. So you see now, it displayed like this. Let us try it on code. So now, let's say print I am here. It's fine because the single quote is inside, double quote are surrounded. But if you try to change it into single quotes, it will give you an error immediately. Okay? Now, if you see this red line, this means there is some kind of syntax error, which is not right. If you run, it will not run. It will simply give you this red sign, and it will tell you that it is invalid syntax. So you must change it into double quotation. Vice versa is also applied. So for example, if you want to type print, if you want to print, sorry, your assignment is to read Hamlet and the Hamlet wants it to be appear in double quotation, that means you need to surround it by single quotation. And I will try it on code, okay? So let's say print, uh, we are going to Abu Dhabi. Now you see the problem here. It's also not working tomorrow. It will give me a syntax error. What is the solution, guys? We need to change the double quotation into single quotation in order to make it work. Now if I run, you see that my code is totally and completely right. Some of you might say, okay teacher, we want to do always single code, double code and whatever. First of all guys, this is not commonly used. So not all the time you want to print things within uh, double quotation or single quotation. But if you want a third solution, you can use what we call a triple quotation. So for example, print one, two, three. Okay, you have triple quotation here. And whatever you type inside will be as is. So if you put I am heading to Dubai, because blah blah okay so this will be also showing as it is if you see we have both single quote and double quote inside the statement so the best way is to use triple quotation 
Some of you might say, okay, teacher, shall we always use treble quotation? You can, but I don't advise because it's confusing. You see how many quotations we have? A lot. So use it whenever you need it, okay? And you will need it whenever you use a single apostrophe, apostrophe or you use a double quotation uh, that you want to highlight some kind of text. And as I said, this is rarely used, so no need to worry. You can also change the triple double quotation into triple single quotation. It will work as well. Sorry. Oops. Where did we go? Okay, guys. It will work the same. I don't know why it's displaying all the time for. Come on. If you run now, it will also give the same answer. Okay, guys. Hope uh, everything's clear till now. Now, let's go back. This is what we call the triple quotation, okay? And we know now when to use it. You can use either triple double quotation or triple single quotation, okay? In order to display the text as is, especially if you have some other symbols inside. Now, if you want to print an empty line, it means you will type the print with an empty parentheses or a print with something called slash n which will give you a new line so for example if you want to uh, make a space here you will type slash n okay if you run you see that there's a space an extra space here if you want two spaces you will type double slash n okay so you do if you want three spaces or 10 spaces or whatever you will keep typing slash and so it will help us sometimes in uh, decoration okay guys or you can use something called print with an empty parenthesis and it will also print for us an empty line as you see here okay so whenever I put this print statement it will give me an empty line now I'll delete this and let us see some of the common errors that you will face if you type print hi there there is a mistake and the mistake is that we missed the parentheses so this will not work I need to put the parentheses some of you might think that he's using word so we will type capital P print hi and this will also give him an error because he is using the capital P and the programming language is case sensitive that means the small letter is always small letter so I will change this one into small letter some of you will type print welcome so the error here is that this is capital letter no it's fine if it's in between the double quotation whatever I type inside it will be accepted so this is fine nothing wrong with this sentence okay some of the students might type print hello this is wrong why because it doesn't have a double quotation so in this case it will search for something called variables which will be our next lesson and there is no such a variable called hello so in this case we need to put it in between single or double quotation it's up to you I'm sure these are the most common mistakes that you will face in the print statements the lesson is very simple very easy you need to uh, work you need to design uh, you need to do some kind of uh, artistic work uh, reach till the end of the lesson and I need you to do one of the challenges, okay? I need you to work and uh, use a print statement in order to display one of these shapes, which is a simple work. I'm sure it will not take more than five minutes with you. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, please refer to your teacher if you don't understand anything. 
and please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel thank you very much guys i'll see you again next week bye bye